today. We're still at 50 in Fresno. The rest of the valley already getting into the 40s. Skies are clear. Our valley cam shows that. Clear skies are going to allow our temperatures to get pretty cold. We still have the leftover snow for the mountains, but that'll be clearing out too. So you can expect for the next several mornings, very cold temperatures. Finally, towards the end of the weekend, we get a little bit warmer. I'll have your complete forecast coming up. KC 24 News at 6 starts right now. Local news that matters. This is KC 24 News at 6. These people uh, who are really... Do I make some difficult... ...decisions. And that is, do I pay PG&E or do I pay for food? Below freezing temperatures, blanketing the valley, not only a big concern for our crops, but also our pocketbook. Skyrocketing gas and heating costs could force some families into making some tough decisions. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Zambalakian. And I'm Stephanie Berugian. Clovis Unified. Ending its mask mandate, the school board today voting unanimously to end the mandate effective immediately. Supporters say the mandates have taken an emotional toll on students. Teachers and parents will now have more say on this. Um, I, I feel amazing, honestly. My kids have suffered quite a bit from this. A total of 19 parents spoke during today's packed meeting and, as you saw, with many of them applauding after the decision was made. KC24, your local weather authority with a freeze warning in effect. Many Valley residents turning up the heat. Our Madeiras Bab joining us in studio now in Madeiras. This latest cold snap comes as energy prices are at an all time high. That's right, Alexander. And I do want to give you a look at this graph that was provided by the city of Fresno. It shows the increase in the baseline of California electricity rates from 2009 to 2019. Now you can see the yellow line represents PG&E. There was an increase of 85% and Southern California is represented by that green line. There was an increase over that time period of 48%. And with more increases expected, officials and Valley residents pushing back. As a cold snap hits the Central Valley, residents turn up their thermostats to keep warm. But when the dial goes up, so does the bill. Well, I'm looking at barely at this point keeping my nose above water. It's not even my head, it's my nose. PG&E spokesperson Denny Boyle says customers' high bills this winter is mostly due to the increasing gas prices. Natural gas for PG&E is what we call a pass-through commodity. So what we pay for it is what our customers pay for it. Unfortunately, this year, uh, locally, that commodity is 90% more expensive than it was at this time last year. The increase also due to rate hikes. According to data provided by the city of Fresno, PG&E baseline rates across the state increased by 85% from 2009 to 2019 and 22% in 2022. People cannot afford that. PG&E is proposing another 18% increase in 2023. Mayor Jerry Dyer will go before the Public Utilities Board on March 10th to speak against it. That our people cannot afford uh, to continue to absorb these types of increases and to take some compassion on these people uh, who are really having to make some difficult decisions. And that is, do I pay PG&E? Or do I pay for food? In the meantime, utility companies like PG&E and Southern California Edison say the best ways to save during this time is to install LED lighting, close windows and doors, and turn down the thermostat when you're not at home. They sound like very simple things, but um, just looking at all those changes will translate to noticeable differences on their energy bill. PG&E and Southern California Edison do have different programs and plans to help those who are struggling to pay their utility bill. If you would like to find that or weigh in on the proposed PG&E increase for 2023, you can find that on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Reporting live in studio, Madeiras Bab, KC24, local news that matters. Thank you, Madeiras. Valley farmers bracing for more freezing temperatures tonight. Citrus growers especially dealing with these conditions late in the season. November, December, first couple of weeks in January, but very seldom do we have this kind of weather in February. Tulare County Citrus rancher Robert McClellar is prepared to run all of his wind machines tonight. Protecting his crop, he says, is expensive, but overall, he's optimistic. 
Navel oranges particularly get, this time of year, have a lot of sugar in them. And the more sugar they have in them, the less they're likely to freeze. And in addition to those wind machines, some farmers also use groundwater to prevent freeze damage. Valley farmers taking another big hit. The Federal Bureau of Reclamation announcing today that most irrigation districts will start the year with zero water allocation. The recent rainfall failing to make even a little bit of a dent in the Golden State's prolonged drought. The past two months also broke the record set back in 2013 for low precipitation. More growers are left to rely on groundwater. When we don't have an adequate water supply, we cut back our crops. You know, we're, we're going to have to cut back somewhere. Last year, we cut back. We actually cut out two crops. So there are like about 70 jobs uh, eliminated right there that are not going to come back this year. And growers are now left hoping for a March miracle. A man who allegedly chased down another man who stole his motorcycle and fatally ramming him with his car now behind bars after turning himself in. Fresno police say 26-year-old Nate Arrington went after 44-year-old Car Saifan earlier this month. The chase came to an end at Blackstone in Saginaw where Arrington is accused of deliberately smashing his car into Saifan, who police say was riding the stolen bike. Saifan was taken to the hospital where he later died and Arrington now faces manslaughter charges. A few residents in Visalia jumping into action when they saw an officer scuffling with two men suspected of being intoxicated. Things got a little ugly when he got into a fight with the two suspects after their car crashed. That's when Good Samaritans jumped in and saved the day. Our Liv Johnson with more on this story. This is where the crash happened yesterday. The car came up on this sidewalk on East Main Street, crashed into these poles, and then crashed into this box. You can still see the damage. Now, we're told that the passenger and the driver came out of the car through the sunroof, ran down these railroad tracks. An officer tried to detain them, but they became violent. That's when bystanders decided to step in. Chaos on Center Street in Visalia on Tuesday as a police officer attempted to detain two men they say had been drinking, crashed their car, then made a break for it. Things quickly got violent when the officer caught up to them. Subjects were fighting and kicking, uh, trying to uh, evade arrest. He was seen with uh, alcoholic uh, containers, uh, as well had the odor of alcohol on his breath, as well having the objective signs and symptoms of being under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. That's when onlookers nearby decided enough was enough. Enough. They jumped in and held the suspects down until help could arrive. You know, we, we don't want a situation to go from bad to worse. And with that, with a two-on-one on an officer, you have two subjects that are under the influence and resisting an officer that has that capability. And to have onlookers come to the aid of the officer and, and, a, and act as good Samaritans and helping to take those uh, subjects into custody really helped, uh, helped our officer and helped our police department. The driver, 24-year-old Elijah Lopez, and the passenger, Isaiah Ortega, now facing a number of charges, including resisting an officer, threats on an officer, and D. UI. The department thanking citizens for helping them get the two men behind bars. We are always there for our community. We are there in time of need to help in any way that we can, day or night, 24-7. But when the tables turn, which is very... ...a likely situation to have the community come to our aid and help us, that, that speaks volumes. I spoke with some employees in this area, and they told me they're also very impressed by the bystanders that went in to help the officer in that situation, and they're glad that no one was seriously hurt. Reporting in Visalia, I'm Liv Johnson, KC24, local news that matters. Crime victims and their families pushing California lawmakers for more public safety solutions. They rallied at the state capitol today demanding greater investments in community crime prevention efforts and resources for healing victims. This rally comes as recent polling shows the majority of California voters are dissatisfied with the response to criminal activity. Political analysts say the issue will be a focal point in the upcoming election tired of over relying on policing and the criminal justice system to keep us safe that is lazy and disingenuous we're here to make sure that the state and decision makers in every city know that we are no longer carrying the burden of your failure while we fight to live and survive
Lawmakers have introduced bills that would boost compensation for crime victims and increase help for those falsely accused of crime. Still to come here at 6 o'clock, more trucker protests over vaccine mandates. More on the convoy of truckers headed from California to the nation's capital. Also another massive bust by K-9 Benny. More on what led officers to seven figures worth of fentanyl. Every hour of inaction now is a threat to the lives of Ukrainians. And coming up on KC24 News at 6.30, a new wave of sanctions hitting Russia amid fears of a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Your other headlines tonight. The freeze warning has been extended past Friday through Saturday and clear skies between now and then. The afternoons, they will get a little bit warmer into next week, even the 70s returning. And your four-day allergy forecast brought to you by Boz. Allergy will be in the medium and then the high range into the weekend. Alder, Juniper, and Poplar, the predominant pollens. I'll have your complete forecast as KC24 News continues. of everyday people making a big difference. I see our future generations eager to learn, and I love teaching them about weather and climate. These are the students who are going to create the sustainable future that we've all been talking about. They inspire me to keep learning and provide the most accurate forecast possible. I see what matters. I see local stories making an impact. And I invite you all to see it here every day on KC24 News. We had a great year last year. We surpassed the billion in assets. We were ranked the number three community bank in the United States. But look, nobody remembers third place. We want to be number dog, Pat Hill. To get to the top, you gotta get your team mentally prepared. It's mind games, baby. Does he show some emotion sometimes? Sure, we're all human. That's not good enough. But that's how it's gotta be. Coach, get in here. Hey, you gotta take on any bank, anytime, anywhere. Boom. Regular service is going to make your car last longer. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. G-Express is a list of quick services, quick maintenance work that needs to be done to your car uh, at competitive prices, and we can get you in and out in a pretty timely manner. Customers like the idea of using factory trained technicians, factory parts. and taking great care of their cars. It absolutely can help your resale value and take care of your car. This is the place I love. There's no way YourCentralValley.com pros who know. First impressions matter. You're serious about your business and your employer is serious about theirs. Be on time, presentable, and ready to get the job done. Let's get to work. For more expert advice, go to YourCentralValley.com slash pros who know. The solar forecast is sponsored by Renewable Solar. Exceptional people, exceptional performance. Now, AMS certified chief meteorologist, A. Well, temperatures this afternoon were certainly on the cool side. We got 10 degrees below normal in the afternoon, 53. Normal is 63. Now, our morning low was below average, too, but well above freezing, at least for now. The record for today was 30 degrees. Spoiler alert. That tonight, by the way. We're looking at 50 right now in Fresno, 48 in Madera, Hanford, and also Visalia, 49 in Lemoore. A live view from our Valley Cam shows nice colors outside and very clear. Clear skies are going to work against us as far as the Lots of snow over the mountains, but that's ending now, too. If we widen that view out, the low itself is already centered. The center of it's moved off towards uh, the southern tip of Nevada and over in towards Arizona. So clearing skies, that means the colder air starts to move in, and then we're going to see clear skies for the afternoon. That works for us. 
and allows us to get a little bit warmer. But again, then it's clear at night and our temperatures start to drop once again. So we have a freeze warning that's been in effect. It was already in effect this morning and it got extended from Friday. The original issuance called it until Friday and now it's until Saturday at 8 a.m. Tonight, look at some of these numbers. 26 in Delano, 28 in Kettleman City, a 30. That's a warm spot for Visalia. 24 in San Joaquin. Same in Fireball. 25 in Mendota, 25 in Chowchilla, Mariposa, 24. 25 also in Los Banos, Merced, 26 with a high of 59. But 61 in Los Banos and Dos Palos, 59 in Madeira, another 61 in San Joaquin, 59 in Colinga, same for Lamore and Hanford, 58 in Visalia. 34, only a couple of minutes above freezing in Sequoia National Park, 57 in Porterville, 55 expected in Delano. Our air quality, that's going to be in the good range on the valley floor. Uh, wood burning is okay in Fresno County, but only if you have the registered wood burning device. Your renewable solar forecast. Well, this is the good news, bad news situation. Yeah, the clear skies make it very cold for us, but during the day when the sun is out and there's nothing but sunshine, our electricity generated numbers, our energy savings numbers, they're all very, very high for the next several days. Tonight, clear skies, obviously, and very cold. We got our freeze warning in effect. I already told you the morning low is 30 degrees, and that's for Fresno. And you saw the map a minute ago, mid-20s for every place else. A lot of frost we'll have to deal with. Southeast wind at 5 miles per hour at the very most. Not much of a breeze expected. Tomorrow, after the freeze warning, we're looking at uh, very cold temperatures early on, but then during the day, we get a little bit warmer with all that sunshine. 59 will be the high, and over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be getting a little bit warmer, hitting 62 on Friday. But look at the morning lows. That's what we're going to keep an eye on for the next several days. 33 for Friday morning, 34 expected on Saturday. And then finally on Sunday, well, we're going to get out of the danger zone and we're going to be a lot warmer with a little increase in clouds. And we get to say the same thing into next week. Temperatures continue to climb even with the increase in clouds coming in on Wednesday. And it'll put our temperatures back into the mid 70s towards the middle of next week. Your regional forecast is available on our website at yourcentralvalley.com. So please go check it out there. And of course, mm. you know what we call next week. What's that? March. Oh, yeah, that's so, right. It's where we're talking about leaving February behind and getting warmer again. All well, right. let's hope we get that March miracle that yeah. we're talking about. I hope so, too. I mean, the, the possibility is certainly there, and, and we still have some time. I've seen, seen heavier rain in May, too. Not that I would like it to come yeah. that late, but, but it can happen. Okay. okay, we hope. AJ, thank you. Truckers protesting vaccine mandates leaving California for Washington today. A group calling itself the People's Convoy began an 11-day journey departing from San Bernardino County. The demonstration, similar to those held by Canadian truckers, which shut down border crossings and caused numerous economic disruptions. There are now concerns that the trucker protests in the nation's capital could disrupt traffic during the March 1st State of the Union address. Still to come, sports. The Fresno State women's basketball team returning to action tonight. Angelique Martinez will have a look ahead at tonight's game at the Save Mart Center. That's next in Sports Central. Tonight, discover why Chicago... Day ...is TV's number one rated night of dramas. You are the best in Chicago. You were incredibly brave. Become a leader. That's what makes you so inspiring. We will find them. I promise you. You want to protect the city? So do I. Chicago Wednesday returns tonight on NBC. In agribusiness, one of the biggest expenses in your operation is electricity. Utilities will only continue to make business more costly to operate. Isn't it time you took your power back? Solar, it's more than making worked hard for what you've earned. Let us work hard to help you keep it. Renewable Solar, exceptional people, exceptional performance. This President's Day, do cars, great gas mileage, and the pursuit of happiness. Honda's fuel efficiency is legendary. Honda has the happiest drivers in America. And with new Hondas on the way and happy customers taking delivery daily, it's Honda by a landslide. And if there is a landslide, you'll thank your sweet donkey elephant that you drive a Honda. Ask anyone who owns one. See your Central Valley Honda dealer today. 
We're a different kind of dentistry, one who believes in doing anything it takes to make dentistry work for your life. So we offer a complete exam and x-rays free to new patients without insurance every day. Plus, patients get 20% off their treatment plan. We're on your corner and in your corner every step of the way because your anything is our everything. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Book today at AspenDental.com. Walk in or call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. Hand in Stone Massage and Facial Spa offers month-to-month -month memberships for deep cleansing, deep relaxation, and deep savings on Handy. Twenty Four News is brought to you by Spicy J's Specialty Chinese Cuisine. Now, Sports Central, presented by Toyota. In college hoops, the Fresno State women's basketball team is back in action tonight at the Save Mart Center hosting New Mexico. The Bulldogs are looking to snap a five-game losing streak and finally earn their sixth conference win. The Dogs have been struggling as of late. The Fresno State women... The Bulldogs are now 9-16 and 16 overall and looking to make a late push ahead of the Mountain West Tournament. The Dogs are set to face another top opponent in the conference. The Lobos will be the, top, the fifth top four team the Bulldogs faced in their last six games. While the team has been struggling as a whole lately, Haley Cavender has been playing some of her best ball. She's the only player in the country to rank in the top 45 in points with 19 per game, rebounds with 9.7, and assists with with 5.8 per game. All eyes will be on Cavender as she leads the dogs against New Mexico. Opening tip for tonight's game was a little while ago at 6 p.m. I'll have highlights later on at 11. Checking in with the Fresno State men, the Bulldogs snapped their losing streak on Tuesday night with a win over Air Force. Now the dogs are 7-7 seven and seven in conference. The Fresno State men return to the Save Mart Center for its final regular season home game on Monday, February 28th have three games left. Let's take a look at the updated Mountain West men's standings. The Bulldogs now sit in sixth on the conference leaderboard. Out of 11 teams, the Dogs are in the middle of the pack. The top five teams at the end of the regular season earn a bye into the quarterfinals of the Mountain West tournament. Three games left on the schedule for the Dogs to move into fifth. Meanwhile, at the high school level, the playoffs are in full swing. Tonight, we've got two girls basketball showdowns in Division One. Two matchups you'll want to keep an eye on. It's the semis for D1. Number four, San Joaquin Memorial travels to top-seeded Buchanan, while sixth-ranked Clovis meets the two-seed Central with a spot at the D1 title game on the line. I'll have you covered with highlights from both of these games tonight at 11. That's going to do it for sports. KC24 News continues after this. Is Alec Baldwin's story believable? Did the gun really fire without him pulling the trigger as he claims? Our expert tests his claim. Next, Inside Edition. Inside Edition, tonight at 7 on KC24. Symptoms of COVID, flu, sinusitis, common colds, and allergies may be similar. Make sure you get a proper diagnosis at Boz Allergy with 14 locations throughout the valley. You deserve good health. Contact Boz Allergy today and breathe easier. Attention, this message is for the survivors of abuse by the Catholic Church. Many states have extended the window to file a claim for victims of childhood sexual abuse. It doesn't matter how long ago it happened. If you or someone you love were a victim of sexual abuse by a priest, any employee, or other Catholic Church official, now is the time to hold these abusers accountable. We are here to help. Call Right to Fight now for a free and confidential consultation regarding your case. 800-926-3043. You could be eligible for financial compensation after years of suffering in silence. Remember, you are not alone. More survivors are stepping forward every day to help stop the abuse. If you or a family member were a victim of abuse by an authority figure in the Catholic Church, stand up for your justice and make the confidential free call to Right to Fight now. 800-926-3043. That's 800-926-3043. The time to file in your state may be limited due to strict deadlines. Your claim may not be accepted if you wait. This President's Day, do something we can all agree on. Cool cars, great gas mileage, and the pursuit of happiness. Honda's fuel efficiency is legendary. 
Honda has the happiest drivers in America. And with new Hondas on the way and happy customers taking delivery daily, it's Honda by a landslide. And if there is a landslide, you'll thank your sweet donkey elephant that you drive a Honda. Ask anyone who owns one. See your Central Valley Honda dealer today. Hi, Bruce here from Jackson Jewelers, where we buy your old gold. Professionally designed custom pieces, especially for you, or help you find the perfect bridal ring. Stop by and see us in Old Town Clovis. Jackson Jewelers, where we treat you like family. 277. The average number of days each year that the sun shines in the Central Valley. 277 days of sun and 277 days of opportunity to make you money. Power your home, empower your finances, and start thinking about how you're going to spend all that extra money you're no longer paying to the energy company. Start saving. Seven forty-seven ninety-five. Symptoms of COVID, flu, sinusitis, common colds, and allergies may be similar. Make sure you get a proper diagnosis at Boz Allergy with 14 locations throughout the valley. You deserve good health. Contact Boz Allergy today and breathe easier. KC24 News is brought to you in part by Jacoby and Myers. This is KC24 News at 6. K-9 Benny has done it again, proving he's in a league of his own. The beloved CHP K-9 making a million-dollar fentanyl bust. A California Highway Patrol officer pulling over the driver of this car here from Washington for tailing another car. He became suspicious and called out Benny, who sniffed out the dope. A search of the car uncovered 15 pounds of counterfeit oxycodone pills with a street value of over a million dollars. The driver was arrested on several felony charges. He has a crime-fighting nose. He looks so proud yeah, sitting there. We do have more news ahead on KC24 News at 6.30. A Clovis woman now celebrating her incredible story of survival after a close call last summer. And President Biden ramping up sanctions against Russia. Mitchell, the school Fresno is proud to be helping future professionals follow their dreams and reach great goals. We can help you pursue your career in cosmetology or barbering and financial aid is available to those who qualify. Come make it happen now at Paul Mitchell, the school Fresno. We do it all at Closets by Design. Closets, garage, home office, and more. Take 40% off plus an extra 15% off plus free installation. Call 1-800-BY-DESIGN or visit closetsbydesign.com. Today's health crisis has made keeping your company compliant more challenging than ever. HR Mobile Services is here to guide you through these difficult times. We assist with human resources, infectious disease response, safety compliance, policies and procedures, and more. Let HR Mobile Services help you create a safe and compliant workplace so your employees can focus on their work and you can focus on your business.